The ancient Egyptians held cats in the highest regard, and you wouldn't be thrown off to think that they worshipped a feline god. It's fascinating how animals took such a central role in their pantheon, where each deity had its own symbolism and mythology tied to the natural world's rhythm. The god you're talking about is Bastet, also known as Bast. She's often depicted as a lioness or as a woman with the head of a lioness or domestic cat. Talk about flexibility and representation, right? Bastet started as a lioness warrior deity of the sun, reflecting the fierce heat of the sun, but over time she evolved into a protector deity, embodying the warmth of the sun and the life-nurturing aspects. I find that evolution pretty remarkable. It's like a personality arc in a long-running series, except for a deity. Later, she became associated more with the domestic cat than the lioness, which makes more sense for the role of caretaker. Cats being famously known to hunt pesky vermin, and thus protecting the home. I mean, ever had a pet cat bring you a gift that confirmed this role? And here's where it gets even more interesting. Bastet was also seen as a goddess of home, fertility, childbirth, women's secrets, and was a protectress of the pharaoh. Quite a versatile resume for one goddess, if you ask me. Bottom line, in the monumental realm of ancient Egyptian deities, Bastet stands out with her own brand of cool, godly purveyor of the home, guardian against evil spirits and disease, and all with the poised elegance of a cat. Makes you want to pay a bit more respect to your feline friends, doesn't it? Hieroglyph of Bastet.